around uh, 140 watt heater for five and a half hours and the voltage got down to 10.47 volts and we will see how the battery management will raise the voltage up and then after the battery management raise the voltage up then we will charge the apex of the Kodiak using 110 volts the Kodiak that I have I've never ever plugged it into 110 volts I always use it off solar but at this time I have one solar solar system 400 watts and I have two solar generators an apex and a Kodiak and so in concept I can charge one of them using the 110 volt charger so I'm going to charge the apex which is supposed to have the superior solar controller and charge it with uh, 110 volts we'll see how it goes so when um, last night when i turned off the heater the battery was at 29 percent and the voltage was at 10.47 and it's the voltage of the battery that actually determines how much power is the battery able to deliver so between waking up and this is when I woke up in the morning to the time that I started recharging the battery by 110 volts the battery management system equalized the three batteries and it raised the voltage to 10.68 volts but it distributed the energy around the batteries and so the battery viewed itself as having only 27 percent energy left but again the power that a battery is able to deliver is related to the voltage and so it raised the voltage to 10.5 six nine eight volts and that's where i'm going to start charging the battery up so i ran my um uh, 157 watt heater 12 volt heater last night and it's a uh, it's a 27% battery and 10.68 volts on, on the apex. And this is the charger, AC charger for the apex and I'm gonna connect it to the apex. There we go, it's connected. And so it's now saying 27% battery CHG charging 10.47 volts at 87 watts. And uh, I'm taking it over to Kodiak. There's the Kodiak. And the Kodiak is on and it's charging my, my, uh, Apex. 
as I always say, I feel I have infinite, infinite amount of power available to me. It's unfortunately, I have to wait for it. So the Kodiak, which has 400 volts on it, is uh, going to charge up the, a the Apex. 400 watts, feeding it from on top. 87 watts charging the Apex doesn't mean anything for the Kodiak. So it should be fully charged. Both units will be charged. I don't know if they, we'll find out if the Apex will be able to charge today. And if I would say it's roughly 7.15 and uh, in the morning. And so we'll see how the Apex charges. Charging the Apex solar generator of the Kodiak uh, solar generator at 110. And uh, this is uh, seven hours into it. And the battery is saying at 100%. It's really not. I like it 12 point. For seven, twelve point five one, I consider that a hundred percent, and uh, it's reduced the uh, the watts to thirty seven thir thirty seven watts, which is hardly anything. So from now on, it's going to be slow charge, and this is the apex. 110 charger and notice it has a red light and I'll consider it fully charged when that red light turns green when I get 12.47 something like that I, I'd consider it 100% but you know mathematically it's within the 100% zone of the battery and uh, I'll check it in an hour and see how it's doing because it's getting close to the top of even what I want out of it. Not bad. So this is my Apex solar generator and I could do whatever I want with it. I decided to charge it up. Still a red light, it's not fully charged. The indicator says it's 100%. And I would consider 100% at this voltage, but I would like to see 12.5, 12.51 on it. And it's saying it's 16 watts charging. 16 watts, that's nothing. It's going to take a long time. But the thing is, how's the Kodiak doing? How is the Kodiak doing under circumstances? So, the Kodiak... The Kodiak is at 12.69 volts, which means it's fully charged. And it's pumping out 3, three amps. And it's at 37 watts. 400 watts of solar. Kodiak is having no problem Supplying the apex, it's <laughs> excuse me, 16 watts of energy. Okay, it's 12.42. Still a red light. I'm just gonna let it run. There is the sun. Right? There's the sun. The sun is to your left. Fully cloudy day. The solar panels are still receiving ultraviolet light and they're still receiving energy to them, but nowhere they're at full efficiency as if we had the sun running. But the Kodiak is saying, I'm getting enough. 
And as long as the Kodak is happy, then I can keep pumping the Apex. And that's what I'm doing. It's seven and a half hours worth of charging. And uh, battery says 100% being charged at 12.42 volts. It's getting a trickle charge of, of 16 watts. And we still have red light. I would prefer having a green light. But I'm calling it quits. 12.42, close enough for government work. 100% charge. So I'm going to disconnect it from the Kodiak. I'm going to turn off the Kodiak, let the Kodiak charge itself more real quick. And it's a done deal. The Apex is charged and ready to be used again.